toxic shit. Like this guy left me outside on a cold winter night. Knowing I don't have anyone around. Knowing that I don't have a key to get in. Knowing that I don't have money to go back. And he still left me on a cold winter night. And blue ticked my messages. <laughs> girl t welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please don't be shy to smash the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell to get videos every single time i post so today i am here with a lit lit video <laughs> guys i'm back with the banger uh today i'm going to be giving y'all a story time i'm going to be talking about the time somebody's son actually left me outside on a cold winter night without anything to eat without knowing anyone around the area so guys i hope you watch this video until the very end it's about to get lit guys uh thank you very much okay guys so you know when a relationship is about to end you know you're trying to fix things here and there we are forced Diana. so like you want things to work out so badly but you can see the things are not working out so that was the stage my relationship was in by the time this happened so um things were not going well between me and somebody's son we were always fighting we we're always arguing you could see that this relationship is heading for a breakup but i just couldn't have accept the fact that this relationship was about to end so i had to try by all means to keep things going to keep things going you know um and try to convince him that we could work out you know but you know when a guy is no longer just into it he's just no longer into it so <laughs> i told him that uh let's go out for dinner you know maybe try to talk over dinner you know change of scenery going out talking when you're out it does help sometimes so i suggested that we go out and then we talk you know he agreed he agreed and we were talking during the week there was this was during the week by the time i was still in johannesburg i was in johannesburg sharp <laughs> um this guy lives far away from johannesburg like far away um it's about one and a half to two hours away from Johannesburg. cool more guy says uh, it's okay we can go out for dinner try and talk over dinner and fix things but then i do not have money to pay for dinner i'm like no it's okay i'm the one who's inviting you for dinner so it's on me cool all right this was during the week so during the week we we're talking everything was okay you know we're talking we're talking we're talking okay now it's weekend it was a friday so we agreed that we we're gonna go out on a friday and this guy he doesn't work he does work on fridays but during the day so he works night day shift sometimes so you know but i knew his days which is on this day he's on night on this day he's on day shift so it was a friday so he was on day shift and he would come back home after work around six cool i told him okay um on, on a thursday i was still on for the dinner that we're having he's like yeah we're on i'm like okay no problem um okay. so i knock out from work and I, I knock off from work i knock off i take a taxi to where he stays so i knocked off around four around four so i knocked off around four went straight to take a taxi by the time i got where he stays it was around half past seven to eight somewhere around that time ah i knock at his place more guys not there ah <laughs> Sure, my guy is not there ah i'm like okay maybe he went out to the shop or something quickly you know so okay cool i call him i start calling him he doesn't answer ah <laughs> he doesn't answer call him the second time no answer third time no answer mind you now it's eight o'clock at night 
I'm in a place where I know no one at all. I don't know even a single person in this area. Taxes are finished now to go back to Joburg. Cool. I text him on WhatsApp. I'm like, how can where are you? Because I'm here now. We said we're gonna go out on Friday night. This is Friday night and I'm here. Where are you on WhatsApp? I have no response. I wait Nyana for my 15 minutes. Um, okay, guy texts. He's like, um, why didn't you tell me that you were on your way? Why didn't you tell me that you were coming? I thought you were no longer coming. Remember on the previous day on Thursday when it said I said I had asked him, are we still on? He's like, yeah, we're still on. You can come Friday after work. I'll be home. Man, I've been chatting on Friday since morning. He never mentioned anything about working night shift on a friday now he's telling me that ah, i'm now already decided to stay at work i'm working night shift now so i'm not gonna be able to come back okay i text him okay so now i'm already here what do you expect me to do because it's at night there no longer taxes to go back and your house what is locked what do you want me to do blue tick ah he blue ticked me yes that's right, he blue ticked me on a winter night. It's cold outside. I don't know anyone around the area. He knows that I don't know anyone. I don't have friends around. He knows. He knows that I don't know anyone. He knows that it's cold to winter night. He knows what is going on around the country these days. Women are getting raped. Women are getting kidnapped. He blue ticked me either way. <laughs> My heart was beating fast. Sharp. His friend pulled up. His friend came was like, how? Tanya, what are you doing here? Is Mugai around? I'm like, so I'm like, no, Mugai is not around. Where is he? Please call him. His friend calls him. Ah, he doesn't answer his phone. I leave him a dozen of messages, like a lot of messages. Like, how could you leave me outside? You know that I don't know anyone around. Like, I sent a lot of messages, guys. A lot of messages. They were all being blue ticked. All being blue ticked. His friend sent him voice notes. He was blue ticking the whole thing. The whole thing. Oh, wow. Ah. I don't have money. And now I'm thinking I have to get an Uber to go back. I'm not the type of person who likes bothering people. Um, I wasn't going to ask his friends to sleep over at their place. I wasn't going to do that. So now I'm thinking I have to take an Uber and go back. Do so you see how heartless this person is? How can you leave someone knowing very well that they're outside? They have nowhere to go. They don't know anyone around. It's at night. And you can blue tick the person. You know the person is outside your door. And you can blue tick and continue with your life as if it's normal. That's what he did. That's the day I realized that you know what? This guy's not worthy to be in my life. He's not worthy to fight for. Like he blue ticked me until his friends were like, no girl, you know what? You don't deserve this. You you really don't. Just take an Uber and leave and don't ever come back. Like you don't this person has really displayed with he he's no longer into into whatever you are having i'm like Ash. yeah let me call an uber and go back <laughs> i called an uber i called an uber the uber was um 450 rands do i have 450 rands at that moment i don't you know student life middle of the month you get money on month end I had to call my friends. Hey, girl, please send me money. Please send me 100 grand. I don't know how many people I called. Please send me 100 grand. Please send me 100 grand. Until it was 450 guys for me to go back. I tried to call my friends from around that I, um, I have a friend in Brantfontein. So I tried to call her because the area is close to there. I tried to call that girl. And mind you, we are only social media friends. I've never met her before. I don't even know the condition of the place where she stays. I'm just like, I just remember that, you know what? I know a girl in Renfontein and Renfontein is just close to here. And she tells me that, ah, again, I'm not at home. And I don't think my parents would allow a, a stranger to just come in and at this time of the night. I have to pull some strings, get some money, get an Uber. I vented to the Uber driver the whole way until I reached Johannesburg. I vented to that Uber driver. I told him everything. Like, I had to get it off my chest. <laughs> Guess what? The moment I step into my room in Jobek, Mugai replies, 
it's like my phone was on the charger and i left it um online i didn't see my question was then you knew that i'm at your place it's at night i i told you that i don't have anywhere to go we of we've already said so that you already know that but still you have the guts to go and put your phone on the charger and continue with life as normal knowing very well that there's someone outside your door and she knows it, no one so that's the day i realized that no i know i'm forcing things let me just leave this guy so it was it was hectic it was some hectic shit like this guy left me outside on a cold winter night Knowing I don't have anyone around, knowing that I don't have a key to get in, knowing that I don't have money to go back, and he still left me on a cold winter night and blue ticked my messages. That's how heartless other fun of the boys are. <laughs> so guys, that is my story time. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you yeah i hope you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and enjoyed and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel please share this video with your family and friends thank you until next time guys